Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to do this problem. Okay, so first we're going to combine like terms, which is up here at the top. So you're going to end up with 2a to the third c because you have a 2 here and then you this has an imaginary 1 and so that equals 3. Then you have the leftover c and then you're going to keep this original problem right here. Okay, and then because this is a negative, you want that to be a positive. So we're going to divide or, no, not divide, put a 1 above this. So you're going to end up with something that looks like this. So you're going to want a 1 on top of that, which means there's a 1 below here. Oops. And so now, actually, this can turn into a positive 3 because it has a 1 on top of it. So now you're going to want to end up multiplying these two together. So you're going to um, split it up into it looking like this over 1. And then because now you're going to divide or separate these two problems from these two problems. And I actually got the 12 from distributing the 3 into um, these three numbers, which actually this would be a 9. Okay, so we end up with, this is our problem currently right here. Um, and now we're actually going to flip these so that we can multiply them. So you're going to end up with this over 1, and then you're going to multiply a to the ninth, b to the twelfth, and c to the twelfth over one. So you can multiply straight across. And so that gives you, well, this would be over one. So that would give you two a to the twelfth, b wait a minute. Okay, b to the twelfth c to the 14th but wouldn't you okay so i'm not even gonna lie i thought this was wrong but actually this is right so this right here is your final answer because you don't need this one because because you just don't need it so so this is your final answer check done okay so i know that was might have been confusing but i really don't want to remake this video because i already have a couple times so i'm just going to show you how i did this part again so i ended up just taking the two and bringing it over and then you're going to end up with a to the 12th because you're going to take this 9 plus 3 which is 12 and then there is no b over here so you're just going to have this single b to the 12th and then this c12 plus c um, squared would give you c to the 14th and then this would be over 1 because you're just going to bring the 1 under but because this is over 1 and this is already positive you don't technically need this one so that's why you're just going to end up with your final answer like this and that is why we are actually done this time